Hey guys, what's up? My name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be filming the No Disclaimers book tag. I will put the link in the description for the original video from this tag, but yeah, I just saw this tag and I thought it would be really fun. So let's just jump right into the questions. Question, the first question says, which trope or tropes in books annoy you the most? I don't think it's a huge surprise that I'm going to say insta-love. Insta-love annoys me the most out of all of the tropes in books because it's the most like unrealistic thing to me. I don't like when characters just meet each other and they like fall in love within one day. Number two says, which writer or writers do you feel are overrated slash overhyped? For me, that's going to be John Green because I have read a couple of John Green books now and most of the time I just think that they're okay. Like they're very mediocre and besides like The Fault in Our Stars, like I do think The Fault in Our Stars is actually like really great. Besides that, all of his other books are so mediocre and he's like one of the most overhyped young adult authors out there. Like he's so huge and it's like, I don't really get it. Number three, what are your least favorite books you've read since joining booktube? I've had a lot of books that I haven't enjoyed since joining booktube, but my top three that came to mind right away, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Love and Rewind by Tally Alexander and Nothing More by Anna Todd. Number four is a terrible ending that ruined an otherwise quality book. For that, I'm gonna have to go with Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. And I think this book was pretty decent up until the ending. I mean, I don't know if I would say this is like a quality book up until the ending, but like, like I just thought it was a really cute book up until the end just like pissed me the hell off because it was such a cop-out ending and I didn't I didn't like it. If you know, if you've read this book, then you probably know what I'm talking about, but I just, I... Number five is which fictional characters do you wish were not killed off? Well, I'm not gonna, like, spoil anything for you because that would be god-awful, but I'm just gonna hold up this book right here and just say I wish a certain character was not killed off because it makes me sad. Number six says what are some of your bookish pet peeves? One of my pet peeves is when the description of the book spoils you. <laughs> Cough, Alex, approximately. <laughs> Another one of my huge pet peeves is when in a domestic thriller, the big like plot twist at the end of the book is, or like halfway through the book, is that the husband just randomly became very abusive like right after they got married. Like he completely became a different person and now he's an abusive monster asshole. Not a good plot twist, okay? It's just not. It's unrealistic. I mean, maybe it's realistic, but it's still like... Not a good plot twist, like, okay, so he's abusive and he's the monster and that's the big twist in your book. Cool. Like, I've read so many thrillers, I can think of three off the top of my head that do that. My other big, huge pet peeve is when the main conflict between a couple and a romance is just a miscommunication issue. Like, if they would have just clarified what they meant by certain things that they said, then they wouldn't have even been an issue. Like, I hate romance novels where their giant conflict towards the end is just a miscommunication. Like, it's a misunderstanding. Like, I hate it. And they do it so often, so often, because they don't want one of their characters to, like, seriously fuck up and then, like, ruin the relationship. So it's just, like, a little miscommunication issue. Like, I just, I hate it. Number seven is, what are some books you feel should have more recognition? For that, I'm gonna go with some of my favorite books of all time, like The Humans by Matt Haig. This book deserves way fucking more recognition. It's not as hyped as it should be. And same goes for We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. This is my favorite book of all time, and it only has, like, 16,000 or something reviews on Goodreads, which isn't nearly as many as it should have. And the last one is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I feel like this one is getting more hype recently on booktube and bookstagram and stuff, but still it needs more hype, like, because it's just so great and it's one of the best books I've ever read and it needs more hype. Okay, number eight is what are your thoughts on censorship and banning books? I don't really see the point in banning books because it's like somebody created this content for people to read it and think about it and I don't understand the whole point of banning a book like it should be the person's own decision whether they feel like they're comfortable reading something that might be more controversial you know but that's everybody's own right like if you want to read a book you should be allowed to read a book it shouldn't be banned just because of whoever else says it's not appropriate or right or whatever everyone should have the right to be able to read whatever the fuck they want and number nine is who do you tag? So I'm gonna tag literally anybody that's watching this video. If you're watching this right now and you're still here, consider yourself tagged. You're tagged. Go and make this video. It's a lot of fun. Link it to me in the comments so I can watch it. So <laughs> all right, that was the no disclaimers book tag. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time.